Okay, let's do a hard reset on this Moto G stylus from Stroital Wireless and apply to any other Moto G stylus in any other carrier. Let's go and power off the smartphone and remove any external memory card and SIM card just in case that you have any uh, multimedia store in that uh, card and you can you want to you want to save uh, since this is a factory reset and everything stored in the internal memory of the phone will be uh, removed okay and um, it, it is very very important that you know your google account associated with the phone like the email address and password because after the factory reset you have to confirm or verify google in order to continue and um, get to the home screen if you are not able to verify Google account, uh, your phone basically going to be blocked permanently. So just so you know and be careful with that. Okay, so you're going to start with the phone power off. You're going to use the volume down key and the power key. You're going to hold and press these two buttons for about two seconds. And you're going to see a uh, some recovery menu on the screen and delete immediately both keys. And then you're going to go from there. Okay, volume down and power key. Okay, uh, release both keys when you see this uh, menu. So let's go and use volume down and it's gonna uh, skip and select recovery mode, press power key, and you're gonna see the Android uh, logo on the screen of the phone, right there. Now we're gonna press volume, volume down and power key for three seconds. And this finger right here has to be ready to press the volume up for one second, okay? And then you're going to see recovery, I mean, some uh, blue menu on the screen and release release uh, the both or three keys. Okay, ready? Volume down and power for three seconds. Press these two buttons at the same time. One, two, three. Place volume up and release, okay? Now, uh, using volume down, highlight... Uh, wipe data factory reset okay this is what we need to do if you want to remove password pattern or pin lock in the screen of the phone um, or just want to delete everything on your internal memory just press the power key to confirm okay now volume down to select factory reset and you have to stop and think about that everything if if you know the Google account associated with the phone. You have removed the external memory card um, because you're going <clears> to <throat> lost everything stored in the internal memory. But after the factory reset with the same Google account, you will be able to retrieve pictures, videos, contacts as far as you did a backup. Okay, so just press the power key to confirm the factory data reset. Um, your phone will be um, at the bottom of the screen. You're going to see like wiping data, formatting data, data wipe complete. And uh, see the reboot system now is automatically selected. Just press the power key to reboot the phone. Here it's going to take a few seconds for the phone to um, properly uh, reboot and take us to the initial setup screen where we'll, you will be able to select um, a language, system language, and then continue with anything, everything to get to the home, home screen. Okay, and now I uh, just remember, remember that um, it's important that you do a hard reset in case that your phone get freezed on the screen, like track phone or any other carrier like uh, Boost Mobile, Metro PCS, at and Sprint, T-Mobile, and, and you want to um, remove those things or unfreeze your screen and uh, this hard reset helps a lot to calibrate the motherboard to work properly. So um, this is the best option that you can do. Now we are on the initial setup screen. So let's go in, um, choose the language. Uh, you have Spanish and you can um, go through uh, the phone and check which language you can uh, use. Uh, if you are learning this language or things like that, so just select your uh, favorite language and Continue. So just hit the start button. If you need uh, vision settings like talk, um, talk back, then just go to vision settings and um, do that. I'm going to do a different video on doing that. So just search my tutorials here in um, my channel 
for different uh, options about this phone okay so now um you can you can um, select a wi-fi for your phone or insert your active sim card if you already have one to um you have one to uh, register and also um, because you need uh, you need um, uh, mobile data in order to uh, uh, mean confirm Google account so just uh, for now I can skip because I don't have any Google account registered on this phone so I'm gonna give you these options okay so now you can select your um, time zone and then date so you want to move the month just go here select the month select the day and hit OK to save and then the clock it's um, um, hours and minutes a.m. or p.m. And just hit OK to continue and hit next. Okay, Google locations and Google services. I highly recommend you to keep the location on uh, because anything you go to search on Google and search engine, the first option you're going to receive is the one according to your phone's location. So you are hurry up looking at a restaurant or gas station or any other important uh, location. Just um, keep that one on okay so allow scanning in any wi-fi available for your phone to take advantage of it and save your package data from your carrier leave the allow scanning on and also search uh, send usage diagnosed data and uh, you can leave your email address if you want Motorola to send you any updates or important things for your phone to be up to date such as uh, leave that one on okay uh, accept terms and conditions and now you can set up a lock screen on for your phone uh, you can set up a um, password pattern or pin like screen lock options and uh, also um, you can do this one after when when you get to the home screen you can go to settings and set up the uh, with uh, fingerprints or uh, face recognitions and things like that on your bottle so just uh, for now i'm gonna skip this step so I won't take that much time on this video and also uh, Motorola uh, terms and conditions accept and continue and also any any topic um, just leave your email address they will send you any important uh, news about uh, Motorola phones or your Motorola like I said any system updates and like that so okay so I'm gonna turn this one off if, if I don't want to receive anything um okay career location access uh, grant cons uh, grant if you want uh, google to uh, access to your location uh, just leave it on if not just power on and continue okay track phone uh, terms and services just uh, accept and continue all right so now um you have three different kind of screen navigation for your motorola so uh, you can take your time and explore, um, take your time and review which um, navigation screen you would like to use. Um, so just take your time and learn each one of them with these tutorials. Okay, and um, just, um, if you want to activate these actions, just go to uh, Google Settings and have the change. Okay, it's just uh slide up and go to the home screen of this Motorola. okay thanks so much for choosing my video let me know if you have any other questions uh, please subscribe to my channel and search my other tutorials related to these uh, Moto g titles in case you need any other help with and um let me know in comment in if you have any suggestions or questions okay thank you